Hey everybody, this is going to be a quick guide on how to set up and use Monero Ocean in Windows. Monero Ocean is a profit switching site that converts everything into Monero or XMR. I'm personally using this right now to take advantage of the Zephyr prices and it being way more profitable to mine than mining directly with XMR. We're going to start by just Googling Monero Ocean. There are a few sites, um, so make sure you grab this one here, MoneroOcean.stream. This is what the landing page looks like. Uh, pretty basic. If you click on the help section, there is a kind of a walkthrough guide, and that's what we'll follow along with here for this video. Step one is going to be getting a wallet so that you can put your XMR somewhere. It's never advisable to mine directly to any exchanges. Uh, you could follow their guide here and take the official Monero GUI wallet if you want. Uh, especially if you're on Windows, this will work. But for this video, I'm going to use a web wallet instead. I'll put links to all this in, in the description below. Like with any other wallet, you're going to get a seed phrase. Just write down the seed phrase, ideally on a piece of paper. Don't put this anywhere in an email or in text anywhere. Once you've written it down and confirmed it, just click go ahead. And that's it, very basic. Here's your address. Here's any sending and receiving, any transactions you have. Obviously, since this is brand new, we don't have any transactions yet. Next step is gonna to be to head back to the Monero page. Uh, step two is to get mining software. I always just get the newest version of XMRig. Pretty simple download. Of course, it may think that this is a virus once you download it. So just allow the download. Once it's downloaded, just extract it. And you'll have this downloaded. Always go to properties and set this to run as administrator. Okay, next step is going to be to set up the miner. Now, there's a few different ways to do this. I feel like the easiest way is always just to create a new batch file and go from there. You could edit the config if you wanted to, which is what they suggest to do here, but I'll make it easier for you. So to start with, we'll just copy this file, and paste it just to have a duplicate, name it to whatever you want. Then edit the file. From here, everything you're going to need is going to be basically right here. This is your standard wallet, so you'd make sure you have the XM rig line. So first off, we're going to put dash dash URL and take the Gulf Monero Ocean Stream URL. Paste that in there. Next, you're going to put a dash U, which is going to be your wallet address. So head back over to whatever wallet it was that you downloaded. For me, it's going to be this here. Then we're going to paste that after the U. Then if you like, uh, if you're going to have multiple miners, put a dash P and name it something. This is going to be your worker name. And that's it. Now you save this file and you're ready to start mining. So from here, you would go back to wherever you extracted the mining software and created your batch file. Find the file you created. Mine was named Ocean Test. Just double click. Gonna have to run anyways because it thinks it's a virus. If you have a huge page error because it's your first time running the software, uh, don't worry. You just have to restart 
your computer and then it'll pick up but make sure that it is set to compatibility run as administrator or you could right click and run as an administrator every time which just for me gets annoying so you see it's starting to mine you take your same wallet address head back over to the monero ocean back to the home page paste your address here in this bar that is invisible and it's not finding anything yet because it hasn't been long enough but if we come back in a couple minutes you'll see that it's started mining so it's been a few minutes here and you can see that everything is all popped up this is uh, only a 3800x so the hash rate isn't great but you can see if you click on it you'll see your shares valid invalid how long you've been mining what your average is and what your projected average is for the day. I guess the only other thing to talk about would be your overclocks. If, if this is going to be your workstation and you don't want to change the BIOS settings to optimal overclocks, uh, I highly suggest Ryzen Master. Um, the, set this to one volt and then just play with the clock speeds until you get it to, to stable. I've found that 3.6 or 3.7 seems to be the best for most Ryzen CPUs. Anything that's a 3900X, a 5800X, 5900X, even a 3950s or 5950s, they seem to really like one volt with around 3.6 or 3.7. You may be asking yourself, why would you want to use Monero Ocean and convert these things to XMR instead of just flat out mining Zephyr and trading every day? Uh, personally, I have more confidence in Monero. And if you were to go back and, and look at the history of both coins, you'll see here that uh, Zephyr all time uh, has not broken six dollars or seven dollars and so that's in roughly 2x from where we are right now sitting at 3.5 and if you look at monero all time it has been up as high as 515 and right now we're sitting at 159 ish so in my opinion there's more of a likelihood of this thing two or three xing than if i were to just mine zephyr and hold the zephyr till the next bull run Thanks for watching, everybody, and good luck.